Hello, welcome to another edition of Premium Times Weekly Podcast. I'm your host, Titi Lokwe Fadare. Few weeks ago, we spoke about the penalty on some broadcast stations by the NBC, that is the Nigeria Broadcasting Commission. Today, there's a new gist. Starting from next week, you may not be able to watch Silverbed TV, AIT, and MITV. From the Blues, the federal government through the Nigerian Broadcasting Commission announced the revocation of the broadcast licenses of 52 television and radio stations. The government said those stations have outstanding debts and some have not renewed their licenses. NBC ordered the affected stations with authority to shut down their operations on or before Tuesday. It appears that the commission had run out of patience. Someone needs to tap these broadcast stations that Nigeria needs money. The government was unable to meet its revenue target in the first quarter of the year. Still in the week, there was a bold attempt to steal from Nigeria's crude oil. Can you imagine? Remember, the government has been crying for losing billions of naira to crude oil theft and sabotage. The Nigerian Navy arrested a Norwegian ship for illegally trying to lift crude oil in Nigeria. The Navy said the ship entered the Nigerian maritime environment without any form of authorization or clearance by the NNPC. Nigeria warned other vessels engaged in illegal activities to be careful and authorities will maintain a posture of zero tolerance to crude oil theft and other criminal activities in the maritime domain. That's a strong warning to local and Oyibo criminals. Like ASU, electricity workers went on a strike that threw the nation into darkness last week. The union said it took that action over welfare issues. The striking workers shut down the national grid and the power system network were shut off for about 24 hours. The government chief negotiator, Chris Ngige, intervened and the union suspended its nationwide strike for two weeks. It should never have happened anyway. From electricity, we moved to aviation. The International Air Transport Association said it's disappointed in the Nigerian government. Why? You asked. It said the Nigerian government has failed to allow international airlines to repatriate their profits, an action that may cause the country more damage. The group said the amount airlines have been unable to repatriate from the country rose to 199 billion naira in July. Already, the Emirates have suspended their flights to Nigeria from September 1 due to its failure to repatriate money from the country. So, that's our update for today. As usual, this edition was written by Kabi Yusuf. I am still a quite fatherly. See you next week. And do not forget, if you like this podcast, please share and favorite. Also visit www.premiumtimesentry.com to catch the latest edition of this podcast series.